Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Hello and welcome again to another episode of our new series, The Mother of God. In today's episode, we'll be exploring and discussing the title of St. Mary as the Golden Censer. So where does this term, the Golden Censer, come from? With St. Mary, we call her T. Shorty, which means literally the Golden Censer in Coptic. Um, there's a beautiful hymn that we, we say in the liturgies, and you might have heard this and recognized it when it's sung by our lovely deacons in Coptic. And it's, the words go like this. They say, Ti shori en nob, te ti parthenos, pes aromata, pe, pe pensotir, asmisi en nov, afsoti en mon, o wo kanen novi nan evol. What that translates to in English is, the golden censer is the virgin. Her aroma is our saviour. She gave birth to him, he saved us, and forgave us our sins. It's very beautiful words. And so the golden censer is sometimes also referred to as the censer of Aaron, Aaron being the priest at the time. And so in Numbers chapter 16, it, and Moses says to his brother Aaron, he says, Take a censer and put fire in it from the altar. Put incense on it and take it quickly to the congregation and make atonement for them. So the censer here, which is the Shoria, it symbolizes the womb of Saint Mary. And there's a lot of beautiful symbolisms around the censer or the Shoria that Abuna carries around in the church in all the church processions. We find here that this the womb of Saint Mary is symbolic of the censer, where the divinity of the Lord is united with his humanity. It's made out of out of gold, you'll find them all kind of got gold around them, which is pure or something that's pure, which signifies the greatness and the purity of Saint Mary and her virginity. And that's why we call her the, the Queen of, of Purity um, and the Queen of Heaven. In the sense that we also see the, the unity between the, the Lord Christ's divinity and humanity in that the coal inside represents the Lord's humanity, while the fire, the flames around it, represents the Lord's divinity and his divine power and presence. Saint Mary carried the Lord in her womb, and so the incarnate God is in her womb as the coal is within the censer, and that's why she's referred to as the golden censer. Saint Mary is also frequently likened to the church. So the church has the Lord Christ inside it, um, and, and the church and the people, what makes it a beautiful church is the people and the presence of the Holy Spirit working inside the church in the same way saint mary's glory and and beauty is directly as a result of the lord christ living inside her and being in her womb um, in the agbeya prayers which is the daily prayers that we have that our orthodox church um, in its beauty and wisdom allows us to have is there's a beautiful prayer or a plea for saint mary which i'd like us to highlight together today it says that it says hail to saint mary full of grace the ever virgin mother of god mother of christ may you lift our prayers to your beloved son to forgive us our sins hail to the holy virgin mother of true light christ our lord may you ask our lord to have mercy upon our souls and forgive us our sins o virgin mary mother of god who pleads for mankind pray for the forgiveness of our sins before christ to whom you gave birth hail to you o virgin and true queen hail to the pride of mankind Mother of Emmanuel, remember us, O faithful pleader, before our Lord Jesus Christ. May he forgive us our sins. Let's spend this beautiful fast and the remaining days of this fast in this spirit of prayer. Let's pray this beautiful prayer daily and really beg the Lord to allow us to mean every single one of these words so that we may really truly benefit from this beautiful and wonderful holy fasting period that we dedicate to our beloved mother saint mary the mother of light the mother of salvation and the beautiful golden censer join us tomorrow for another episode of this beautiful series mother of god where we discover more of our mother saint mary's um, names and titles that we give her and glory to god.